What is the finest main combat tank in the world? Which is the best contemporary MBT and why? This top five ranking is based on the combined scores for protection, firepower, accuracy, and mobility. This list includes tanks that have not yet seen combat, while precise specifics such as armor composition are classified, there is plenty of information available about their capabilities. The evaluation is based on specifications and available data, eliminating tanks that are under development, prototype, or unlikely to be manufactured. Notably, the Russian Armada, which was manufactured in modest quantities for testing, is an exception. Crew training is prioritized since it has a substantial impact on a tank's real-world performance. The Leopard 2 is an established and successful German main combat tank. It was released in 1979 and has been regularly improved since then. In various international tank challenge contests, the Leopard 2 series tanks surpassed the American M1A2 SEP, British Challenger 2, French Leclerc, and other tanks in terms of overall performance. Leopard 2A7A1 is the most recent operational variant. The German army bought a modest quantity of these tanks. Delivery started in 2021. The Leopard 2A7A1 is well protected from conventional and urban warfare threats. It has welded steel armor and composite armor on the front arc. The tank is also outfitted with a passive composite armor kit, including the newest generation of passive armor. It appears to make use of novel materials, such as nano-ceramics as well as titanium and steel. Damaged armor modules are simply changed in the field. This tank is outfitted with the Israeli Trophy Active Protection System, which eliminates incoming anti-tank rockets, missiles, and even high-explosive anti-tank rounds. This technique also allows you to detect adversary locations and assault the launch site. The Leopard 2A7A1 also provides superior protection against landmines and improvised explosive devices. This tank is outfitted with a 120mm L55 smoothbore cannon. It is manually loaded and works with all regular NATO 120mm tank ammo. The Leopard 2A7A1 comes equipped with improved sight and new generation thermal imagers. There is a sophisticated firing control system capable of automatically detecting and tracking targets. This tank has a longer firing range than most other tanks. Furthermore, it can employ recently designed DM-11 programmable ammo, which can attack targets behind cover and within structures, as well as shoot down helicopters. This tank is controlled by a four-person crew that includes the commander, gunner, loader, and driver. This MBT is powered by a reliable multi-fuel diesel engine that produces 1,500 horsepower. Currently, the Black Panther II is one of the world's most sophisticated main battle tanks, surpassing everything North Korea or China has. Furthermore, it is the costliest main combat tank to date. Deliveries of the K-2 Black Panther tank to the South Korean Army began in 2016. As of 2017, at least 100 tanks had been delivered. This tank is equipped with undisclosed composite armor and explosive reactive armor modules. It is claimed that the front armor can resist direct strikes from 120mm tank shells fired from L-55 guns. Given the K-2's reduced weight, its protection level is about comparable to that of the M1A2 Abrams. The Black Panther tank is also outfitted with an active protection and countermeasure system. These boost the tank's survivability on the battlefield. This modern South Korean tank is equipped with a German 120mm L-55 tank gun which is comparable to that used on the German Leopard 2A6 and 2A7. This gun is more accurate at long distances than the earlier 120mm smoothbore tank guns. The K2 includes an extremely powerful fire control system that can autonomously locate, track, and fire at visible vehicle-sized targets, as well as low-flying helicopters without the need for human operator input. The K2 also employs upgraded ammunition, the Black Panther is equipped with a strong diesel engine. It is quick and has master hydro-pneumatic suspension. The M1A2 SEP is the successor of the M1A2 Abrams. This tank boasts tremendous technology and protection. It has also experienced conflict. It is among the most feared MBTs. The most recently improved version is the M1A2 SEP V3 which is now in service with the U.S. Army. The M1A2 SEP provides substantial protection against all known anti-tank weaponry. 
This main combat tank has improved armor strengthened with depleted uranium layers. Because of its shorter 120mm L44 smoothbore cannon, it has significantly less firepower and accuracy than the German Leopard 2A7 or the South Korean K2 Black Panther. However, this tank still delivers a powerful punch. Its sophisticated gas turbine engine provides excellent performance and has several advantages of its own, even though it needs extensive maintenance, logistical support, and a hunger for fuel. Several earlier M1, M1A1, and M1A2 tanks were converted to this level. The tank may also be equipped with a tank urban survival kit, Tusk, which increases survivability in urban environments. The improved M1A2 SEP tanks are in service with the U.S. Army. This tank is expected to stay in operation beyond 2050. A new M1A2 SEP V4 with upgraded sights and other enhancements is currently under testing. It should be operational in U.S. Army units by 2025. It is an extremely competent tank. Challenger 2 is outfitted with magnificent Chobam armor and is one of the world's best protected MBTs. It provides extremely high levels of protection against direct fire weaponry. This British tank is equipped with a very accurate 120mm rifled cannon. Its gun is rifled as opposed to the smoothbore weapons used on all other current MBTs. The greatest targeted range is more than 5 kilometers. Currently, the Challenger has the record for the longest tank-to-tank -tank kill. The Challenger 2's engine is less powerful than its Western counterparts. Additionally, it is slower than other MBTs. This tank is the lone outlier on this list because the Armada has yet to be produced. However, just a few prototypes or pre-production tanks were produced. These may be observed at military parades in Russia. The Armada is the latest generation of Russian main combat tanks. The pre-production tanks were initially exhibited to the public in 2015. In 2018, the Russian Ministry of Defense ordered the first batch of 100 Armada tanks. The Armada is a clean sheet design with some innovative features. It has little in common with the contemporary T-90. Also, the Armada is substantially larger than its predecessor. Its characteristics are classified, but the Armada might be one of the best protected tanks in the world. It has newly designed basic armor composed of steel, ceramics, and composite materials. Armada now has a new Malakit add-on explosive reactive armor. It has been rumored that Armada will be outfitted with a new Afghanit active defense system that is presently in development. However, in 2018, it appeared that there were obstacles in the development of the Afghanit. However, by 2018, the prototypes for this system had not been finished and were not ready for testing. The tank now has a new countermeasure system that uses semi-automatic navigation to lessen the likelihood of being struck by enemy ATGW. The tank is handled by a three-man crew. All crew members are seated side by side in a well-protected armored cell at the front of the hull. It is the first manufacturing MBT with this crew configuration. The tank can function with pierced armor if the crew cell is intact. The Armada is also the world's first production MBT with a fully unmanned turret. It is equipped with a new 125mm smoothbore cannon which is more accurate than earlier Russian tank weapons. This tank can launch anti-tank guided missiles in the same way as regular projectiles are. The gun is equipped with an autoloader. This tank possesses hunter-killing capabilities. It has been stated that this tank features a 1,200-horsepower diesel engine. The introduction of this new Russian MBT caused a stir in the West. A few countries, including Germany and the United Kingdom, are now trying to modernize existing tanks or create new designs in response to the danger posed by the new Russian tank. However, it turned out that the new Russian tank had several design and technological flaws. In 2019, there were unsolved technical difficulties with all key components of these tanks. Sanctions imposed on Russia because of its military activities in Ukraine contributed to these concerns. Once in service, the Armada will progressively replace the aging T-72, T-80, and T-90 tanks, which are becoming more obsolete. That's it for today's video. Do you agree with this list of the top five tanks in the world, or would you change it? Tell us in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.